Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Royals versus Blue Jays. Game two of their doubleheader on Saturday, April 17th, 2021. Of course, here on YouTube, I do more free pick videos than anyone. So be sure to subscribe to our channel if you like those free pick videos. But let's get to this one between the Royals and the Blue Jays. Uh, it rained out or on Friday, snowed out like a lot of these other games. Let's play two on Saturday. Good weather forecast uh, that they... Figure they can squeeze in two on Saturday. Hate these seven inning games. Can't stand it. The new format for the uh, for the double headers, but so be it. Got Mats on the mound for the uh, Jays in this one up against Mike Miner for the Royals. And you know the thing about Miner is is that we know he always seems to have really good stuff, and he rarely equals anything of value. You know as far as uh, his team goes in the long run, it's an amazing thing to watch because it's like when you see him pitch, and it's just like. Man, are they ever going to be able to get anything off this guy? And, uh, you know, more often than not, it doesn't work out for him. He is 1-0 this season, but he's got a 4.50 ERA. He gave up uh, four hits, four runs, struck out six in his first outing of the year. 93 pitches, gave up a home run against the uh, against the Rangers. And then next time out, they beat the uh, Chicago White Sox 4-3. to uh, Minor allowed just one run on four hits over four innings. Uh, he did not get a decision in that game, but the Royals beat the White Sox. This is one of the few times any left-handed pitcher has come out on top against the uh, White Sox in a very, very long time. On the other side of this one, Steven Matz on the ball, on the, uh, on the ball, on the mound for the, uh, that would be interesting, on the mound for the uh, Blue Jays in this one. He's won his uh, first two starts as a member of the Jays. He's pitched really well. Matz has always had all kinds of potential. You know, remember he was part of the Mets. He grew up in Queens, and it was like his dream to play for the Mets. And I guess, you know, he played for the Mets in a couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. It makes it, it all of a sudden the dream changes, and I always wanted to be a Toronto Blue Jay. I don't know if he said that, but he's he definitely uh, he walked. But uh, in this one, uh, you know, he's he's allowed in the first his first time out two hits and a run, striking out nine to uh, get the win against Texas. And the next time out, he got a ton of support behind him, but it didn't matter. He didn't really need it. He went uh, five. He went six innings, allowed five hits and a run while striking out four in a 15-1 to one win over the Los Angeles Angels. You know, there's some pitchers that are just have that magical combination of pitching pretty decently and getting a lot of support at the plate. And Matza seems to have that going for him in Toronto. You know, Mike Miner never really seems to get that kind of benefit no matter where he's been. And I know Miner, like I said, he always seems to have good stuff, but I don't think he's good enough. This Blue Jays lineup is just kind of like spring-loaded, ready to explode. I think against Mike Miner is always a good place for that to happen. I'm going to take the Blue Jays to take game two. I'm at least seven inning games. I don't really bet them too often. It's, too hard to handicap. I mean, it's hard enough to handicap a nine-inning game, let alone a seven-inning game. My pick's the Blue Jays, and that's just going to be my free pick. I'm not going to have, you know, I'm probably not rushing to the window on this thing, even though I do think that the Jays have a nice edge here. Of course, if you're wondering who the top handicappers in the world think are the best plays on the board today, head on over to pickdogs.com, click on the Premium Picks tab.